What's up guys? Brandon and Jeremy here from friendofrc.com giving you our review of the Mambo Monster Rawr brushless motor. Uh, you can see the box somewhere up. There's parts of it right behind there. us. Um, here you'll see the uh, Mambo Monster ESC. Brand new, replaced by Castle because it got a little wet and didn't like that. They don't like moisture. And the Monstrosity 60,000 RPM 2200 KV brushless Mamba Monster. So I'll, I'll let Brandon jump right in and give you some of the technical uh, information on this and we'll go on with our review as, as normal. Well for all you guys that like pure pure numbers, um, this thing does almost seven horsepower equivalent to power in this, this little thing. <laughs> that's on 6S and that's pushing it, that's its peak power, but it's capable of it. Um, this has got to be probably the most widely used motor in monster trucks now. You see it on the Flux for the Savage HPIs, it's the same motor. It's sold with the Revo, the Emax. I mean, every other vehicle out there is running one of these, and it's because it has the power to deliver. These are just ridiculous motors. You're talking standing backflips. I'm sure you can see the videos online. Mm -hmm. Just awesome motor, always up, always performs, and always runs cool. And that's, to me, a huge, huge advantage when you're trying to do these huge high-power setups running two battery packs. Mm -hmm. You're pushing the limits. The last thing you want to do is be trying to mess with keeping your heat down. This thing is usually almost cool to the touch. They got the fins kind of built into it for some heat sinking. And they really, really did their math on the Mama Monster. This thing barely gets warm too. Built-in fan. Yeah. It's already protected with the case. So Castle just really knowing what people need for their crazy monster setups and delivering. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much plug and play with any H scale. <clears throat> Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, whatever. You're going to have pl plenty of power to spare. Um, you know, to touch on the fact that now it's really getting kind of played out, as I'd put it, that's kind of a negative. It doesn't fit into our typical review format. But, uh, you know, I could see this, like, people with the spend decision between this and, like, the T8. Um, By Tegan. Yeah, you know, they're comparable. I, like, if I had to choose between them, I, I have my opinions, but we'll keep that out of this. In terms of cost of operation, uh, the Mama Monster is fine. Like, I... You know, it's a little expensive, I think. Yeah, it goes about three hundred dollars, I think, as of right now. Yeah, and that's you know, the reason I would kind of want it to be a little bit cheaper is simply because how big Castle is and how many Mamba monsters are selling. They're just too expensive right now for me. But for what you get, it's totally fine. The price price yeah. point. They've done an excellent job. They've really delivered too in the software for this ESC. Obviously, you have the Castle link. You can plug it into your laptop. They've mm -hmm. added a lot of features that people are looking for. Um, mm -hmm really there's nothing on there that is missing i mean you go on the the software and you look at it you're just mind boggled by how many options you have mm -hmm. to play around with torque total power checking the torque of your motor they make sure that it, you can match it perfectly to your setup so it's nice in that respect you get yeah. plug and play capability but if you're someone who's kind of going to the outskirts of rc and messing around with things you shouldn't be they have the options there to to accompany that yeah if you're and and that's probably why i say what i say because like i i'm not a real like i don't really like to tweak things so much but yeah within Castlelink, the options are, are ridiculous and moving on a fun factor i mean it doesn't get more fun than a mamba monster i mean it really doesn't i mean it's a great great motor and stick it on your truck go through anything never never have uh enough power while well, this thing almost is i mean yeah i think we stuck it on our summit for fun Mm -hmm. And it's just ripping things off of it. I mean, it's just, it's unreal how much power that one of these things has. Yeah, it's super, you know, the only knock on it, not waterproof. But it's hard to hold that against anybody because it's electronics and they don't have to be waterproof. Right. Um, so value, again, I would say you get every bit of what you pay for. Absolutely. You know, I, I think the Mama Monster, in my opinion, it's like uh, buying name brand, getting exactly what you pay for. It's not going to like over deliver, but it's going to meet your expectations. That's that's my take on it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. Definitely get your money's worth. They've never had any real issues with the system at all. Minor things they've always addressed, but nothing that would keep you from running, mm -hmm. you know, stopping your day. And so I think that leads to a lot of loyalty. And really it goes to show how well built the system is. Well, yeah, and when you have um, multiple kits too that you can bolt this onto, it does... Like personally, if I have two A scales, I like to have two different kinds of motors, like rather than like bolting the same motor on both because it just feels kind of not as cool. But yeah, it's a little redundant. You don't yeah. get to see what's out there and what you're missing. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, in terms of performance, you couldn't. I mean, 
five, you know, perfect score for performance. And the amount of mods are just kills. Yeah, you can't ask for more. Granted, you will be running a lot of batteries. You're yeah. talking up to six cell large packs too. You can't run your little four thousands on these. Yeah. You're gonna want five thousand or plus. So a little extra money there, but definitely worth it. I mean, go find someone that has one and tell me you don't want it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't see a lot of these for sale often unless people are short on cash. Yeah. Um, so, in typical format, at the end we talk about, hey, would you go back and buy it again? You know, that I originally bought this, I believe, to upgrade the Summit. Mm -hmm. I'd absolutely buy it again. It's a great motor, and it's going to be one that's probably part of our collection for a long time. Yeah, no-brainer for me, too. I'd buy one of these for any skill truck I got, especially my Basher. If you're racing, maybe looking at a censored system and not a sensorless, right. but I, I love these. I've been with them since the beginning, and I have zero complaints. Five and five. Great. And uh, the only other real, com real competitor would be probably the T8. So if you want to place it against that, it's, it beats it in terms of a couple of, it beats it in a, a couple different areas, um, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have any questions about the Mamba Monster, post it up down below, or shoot on over to our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks. See you guys.